Virgo, good morning. How you doing, Virgo? You all right? Can you make sure you do me a favor, Virgo? Smash that like button and leave a comment and make sure that you watch the video all the way through. How are you? Sorry if you can see smoke, but I've actually been... <laughs> Let's just have a cigarette. Why not, Virgo? I'm smoking. Uh, yeah, I started smoking again a little while ago, but... Uh... Hey ho, it's one of the most hardest habits. Smoking and coffee. That's my hardest habit, is smoking and coffee. Uh, anyway, in Virgo. So if you can see smoke, it's just my cigarette. Uh, how are you doing? So uh, you can watch this as a Life Path 9 as well, if you like. If you're a Life Path 9 or a Virgo, you can watch the reading. So you could be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarian. Unless you, uh, anybody else out there got a trine, three Virgos placements. Um, what do they call them? Stellium? Anybody else got their three Virgo placements? So let's see. Virgo. Virgo, what have they got coming up for the next 48 hours for Virgo? So obviously these ones are not clarified, Virgo, but I'll do my best to give you what I can. Let's see, Virgo, for the next 48 hours. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Me lovely little Virgos. Lost in the dark, you're coming out with your nine. So you could be over overtired at the moment for a lot of you. Uh, I don't know if this is stress or worry. It could be where you are just like thinking about someone at night time or they're thinking about you and you can't seem to get to sleep or you're talking or something like that and you're just like tired, okay, uh, exhausted for a lot of you, maybe uh, overworked, underpaid, uh, overworked, not getting laid. <laughs> it could be both, okay. It can also be frustration, mental frustration here, uh, anguish. I'm also hearing ang Angus, Angus, Icarus. Um, the the horse that flew up to the sun, so that would be Leo. Something to also to do with around a Leo or an Aquarius placement, either either. Okay. Now, if you're stressed out, like, and you're really thinking about something and something isn't happening, okay, that can be a lot of kind of like paranoia. Okay, but it can be where you're stressed. If you're not stressed, it's just where you're normally just tired. Here, I'm also hearing Norman, Nigel, Niel, uh, Nicole, Nicole. Kidman, kid, my kids. Someone here could have kids, okay, and they're just like stressed out about their children, right? The children have run riot. I'm hearing there's a riot. Is there a riot? Riot on the street? Riot. The name Riot, funeral pyre, Jim, John, and Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, all the J's, okay. Um, funeral pyre, um, so it's around a Scorpio, maybe, Scorpio placement. Uh, place, fish, there could be Pisces here. So you've got Scorpio placements, possible Aries placements. Pisces placements here. Place. Um, this is my place. Let's see. Virgo. What's Virgo got coming up for the next 48 hours, please? Virgo. Could be because you're in love, Virgo. Let's see. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What have they got coming up next 48 Seven of Cups, ooh, Virgo. Some of you are in a metaphysical connection. If it's a good one, okay, so two stories at the moment. If it's a good metaphysical connection, it's just that you're thinking of this person quite a lot, okay? You've got a lot of planning and arranging to do. I'm also hearing that there's a funeral. Someone's like planning a funeral, like arranging a funeral or arranged marriage, or someone's already arranged to be married, or someone's deranged <laughs> i don't know but like um here this is our uh, two aspects that i'm thinking about the person that i really want and we're in a metaphysical connection and it's going really well and the person we're thinking of each other a lot okay and it's just leading to sleepless nights or it's going drastically wrong as a like a, a metaphysical connection that you may not have spoke there could be like distance between the speaking um, because the person say ghosted or something like that and you haven't heard from the person is relating to like worry and stress okay do they have other options do I trust the person that I'm connected with and then that can lead to obviously like I said it can lead to paranoia not knowing understanding they're not speaking they're not talking I don't know they make me think of them they've closed down the lines of communication all of this kind of stuff now this could be an ex say that you have been connected with an ex and you've split up and they've gone their own way and you've gone your own way, but you're still grieving and getting over the loss of the commitment. But I am keep picking up like a funeral here and that I'm still grieving over the loss of a loved one here. So, I mean, like I said, grief, okay, Griffin, and what's her name, Griffin or G, okay. But like, um, 
grief can be like some people can grieve over the loss of a loved one for a long time and not realize that they're still grieving over the loss of someone okay that can be short term or long term what am i hearing here short term long term lease okay there is something here that someone's worrying about their housing or chris or housey chris christine chrissy 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 ra chrissy ray christine um there's a like worrying about housing like am i going to be housed anywhere like homeless and because i'm hearing like rent and mortgages and houses and like i don't know if i can afford to pay for like housing or development of or like say that i've been given so much notice and okay man i'm picking up some messages for you here virgo I'm hearing that someone did something just out of no notice. They didn't give me any notice at all, like an eviction notice, and it just came out of nowhere, okay? Or I'm shocked at what I've seen, and it just came out of nowhere. Like, I've just witnessed something, okay, and I'm shocked, like completely and utterly shocked. Now, is that because someone's moved on? And someone... Because this, this can be spying as well, right? This can be looking at your options but it can also be looking at another's options okay like or your mother i've been looking at my mother's options really <laughs> or is your mum stressing you out but or have you lost your mum i'm picking up someone's lost their mum or lost their child or lost someone like are they grieving over the loss of a loved one that's gone to the sky or like grieving over the loss of like losing my children or mum or something okay but for some of this i'm picking it up where someone here has seen the fact that the person that they want has been chosen to maybe be with another person and i've just witnessed the fact that that's what is happening realizing now that that's really stressing me out that the person's gone you know, because like, like I said, man, that can be like, say where, say if you was with an ex, right? And that someone can say, I'm sorry, but, or haven't said anything. Because I keep picking up someone here has found out some news. They've found news out. And it could be, I've heard it on the grapevine. And they're like, listen, have you heard that so on and so on and so on and so forth and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, I, I was hoping maybe that there was going to be like some sort of reconciliation in the future, but there isn't because what I've just found is is that someone chose another person, meaning that they, they've just got with someone here. So, you know, you don't have to make that one fit anybody, okay? Only if it's fitting your... Because I'm kind of half channeling and half seeing that this is where someone's sort of seeing someone, but they're not sort of seeing someone. Because Seven of Cups can, like I said, it can mean metaphysical connection. If that's talking and communicating and everything else, that's brilliant. That's just making plans and just deciding what to do. If there is no communication and the communication is completely broke down and blah, 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 that leads to a lot of hysterical thoughts. Because my mind is wandering and wandering and wandering and wandering. What is this person doing when they're not with me and they're not speaking and they're not saying anything and I don't know what they're doing? So it's leading to a lot of like um, smoke and mirrors. Like I just don't know what's going on. I can't see like, you know, here. Let's see. Could I have a problem with your eyesight here, like me. I have a problem with my eyesight at the moment. Um, let's see. Virgo. What's going on with Virgo for the next 48 hours for Virgo? Um, four of Pentacles. So again, I think... A lot of you are trying to block out the past, trying to like, because this could be an ex, like you could have been connected and you're thinking, well, that isn't me. And it could be your ex realizing because there's no communication that the person's blocked me. I've got no idea. Now, I have been telling people just lately on my channel. OK, there is nothing stopping you guys from of being afraid of people in life. OK. That, you know, if you don't want to hear from a person and you really don't want to hear from them and you're worried that they're going to keep contacting you, there's nothing to say that you can't block people out, you know, you know, because <clears throat> I was saying harassment and some nutter in my comment section, actually, that I've just read. I don't know what, what I think it come from the Gemini reading. I think it were 
started having a go at me saying that's it that's a really good way of telling people to to put people up on harassment charges when you're a scam black of something or other and i was like what the fuck are you talking about like what i'm earning a living doing tarot card readings and i'm a scam artist what the fuck and i don't know if the person was talking in third person at the person but sometimes when you read comments you think it sounds like you're fucking talking to me you're not a <laughs> right as if, why would I not tell a vulnerable woman, okay, or a guy, a vulnerable woman, to make sure that they're safe? Steve's famous three. What do women like if you're a guy? What do they want? Safety. Above all, the first protocol of life with the person that you communicate is to make sure that you feel safe with your partner. That's the first fucking thing is safety, right? So if any of you vulnerable people out there feel as if you're not safe, well, then you need to talk to the police force, right? You need to, obviously, well, I mean, I don't know, American police might not be what the same as what it is in Britain. But in Britain, if you're being harassed by someone, you can actually do something about that, right? <laughs> so people make me fucking laugh. Like They have a go at me in the comments section saying, oh, I think there was two people. But that's probably the narcs that can't get through to the other ones, right? <laughs> you know, but then I get people that are also kind of like, you know, oh, that's it, tell people to do that because I need to get in contact with the person that stole my money. Well, you know, use your fucking logic, right? You know, obviously. But um, <laughs> I sometimes I don't get people's logic at all. But again, I'm hearing Logan or logic or log, lo something like lol, lorry or something, lorry or lo Laura. But I keep hearing Laurie, Lars, 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 Lars. Um, but, you know, I was telling people, if you don't want to hear from people, because this could be the aftermath of it, and you're kind of like, yes, yeah, Steve, I've listened to your advice, and I've blocked the person out that's been harassing me, okay? And now they or I now have to go through the true dark night of the soul, mentally. The true one, right? Because when you, when you are kind of like, half in and half out and fuck I want and I don't want and I don't want them but they keep stressing me out and worrying me I've been through this many a time the dark night of the soul is the five of cups and like we all know right this is the dark night of the soul mentally this is when you realize and think I'm going to do something about this and I have to block this person out then you go through stages of like loss grief and loss realizing that all of the dopamine that you were kind of thinking that it was going to turn out or it wasn't going to turn out or, you know, that they might be communicating with me. When you realize that I'm now the one that's standing up for myself and realizing, OK, there is not going to be any communication because I'm going to have to be the one that stops it. You can go through this. You do go through it because you come back to reality. You start realizing, fuck, I have been in a complete mushroom cloud. Right, I've been up in the fairies for ages, daydreaming and thinking of something and then realising that the truth is just literally come in where I'm like, fuck, you know, now what am I going to do? Because I've been focused on this one person for so long, now I have to come to the realisation that that is no longer a possibility. Okay, so you can go through that mental dark night of the soul. Okay wondering thinking what do i think about next what do i do because i can't stop myself from thinking about the person but now i'm in a two and eight <laughs> which means that i can't no longer look for communication and wait for communication because i've been the one that's blocked them so i can't expect communication anytime soon but i can't stop myself from thinking of this person right trust me i've been there virgo i've been there Okay, it's it's part of the awakening. It is. If you guys don't know, what how long? How many times have I done this? Three times with different energies that I've been connected to. Three times when it was really bad, but that was at the beginning of my awakening, mainly. But yeah, you can um, you can come to this realization that you know you've been hoping and dreaming for for something to happen, and then when you think oh there's no way that that can happen now you're like oh 
And you're like, what do I do with these thoughts? Like, you know, what do I do with them now? Like, what do I do now? What's my next, you know? And that's part of the awakening, right? That's coming to the realization that the fantasy that I was building has just come to an end and a crashing down on me like the tower of all the plans that I may or may not have had have now just come to the realization of like, oh, you know, <laughs> The the make believe fairy Alice in Wonderland, you know the the fucking yellow brick road turned to red, <laughs> you know it's like that's a that's a red brick road, you know, <laughs> you know I'm not following that one, All right? <clears throat> Follow the rabbit, Alice. The fucking the following the white rabbit clues and everything else that I've been picking up along the way have really just led me more and more. To the point of no answer. <laughs> I haven't got one. I'm still following that fucking rabbit. <laughs> right? Or Abbot. Or Abbot. Or Abby. Or Abigail. Or Amber. Let's see. So Virgo. Next 48. So don't worry guys. Right? If you've been following me. Okay? And you do respect my advice. I wouldn't try and put you guys in harm. What I'm trying to say to you is. Some points, like if you're realizing that there's just no getting through to the person and they ha they are harassing you, you you know, you do have to take steps, right? You do have to take steps. And for the other lunatics that are saying, well, it's Virgo, well, you know, <laughs> try and get your money somewhere else. Let's see, Virgo. So, again, now it leads to thinking, okay, what do I do now? Okay, are they still watching me? <laughs> it's such a typical awakening type sort of thing. Now I'm wondering, I've blocked them, or they've blocked me. This could be you or the other person now. Someone's blocked someone out, and now the other person's thinking, shit, they've blocked me off. Now they're not speaking to me. Now they're not talking to me. Why are they not interested in me? Why can't I get through to them? It might not be blocking. It might just be someone that's that concerned about someone why they're not opening up to them. Just leave them. if they. Trust me, if anybody says, oh, it's just friends, just friends, that's it, bang, get on with your life. Move on straight away, find someone else, if you can do that. Sorry, I am a guy and I can do that, right? But for a lot of you, you know, if you're kind of like, this is very fucking sketchy. This person doesn't open up. They're very blocked. They're very guarded. They don't speak. They don't talk. They don't do anything. That is not the great basis of any relationship at all. Even if it's a new one. A new one should be talking to you all the time. You should want to rip each other's fucking clothes off. Not their head off. Like, you know, you shouldn't want to rip their head off. <clears throat> right, why the hell would you want to do that with a new person, right? You should really want to be ripping their clothes off because you should be connecting. If you are connecting spiritually, trust me, everywhere is going to be a wooger, a wooger, a wooger. Why is every part of my body now coming up with like, I am dripping like a fuck fridge with this person? Why? Because you are both open. Both open, right? So if if it's like, oh my God, this is really not happening. Why can't I connect with this person sexually spiritually emotionally or anything is because they're blocked is because they don't want that to be going on so your whichever way one is definitely blocking them themselves protecting themselves from the other one so they're not open for this relationship like this is this story here so far is not someone that is open for opening up to the person fully wholeheartedly they might not trust anyone here they might have trust issues okay so it's now making them thinking why are you not opening up but there could have been mind games there could have been like we you know you've just been fucking stringing me along making me think of like you but then all of a sudden like you start acting very weird and started to act strange so i decided myself to not bother okay to not even bother okay because this is a Scorpio or Aries energy for. It means patience. It means that I was very patient waiting for you. Okay. Very patient waiting for you to open up. And you didn't. So I moved on. Straight up no chaser. You know. Here. Yeah. So, you know. It, it, like I said, it can be people that are very good at just... I'm not even bothered. Like, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm not bothered. <laughs> you know. 
because I didn't feel the same for you as what you felt for me, maybe. I just didn't, again. So it seems like a waste of time, effort. Virgo, next 48 hours. Oh, so I don't know if this come up in reverse or not, because it kind of ended up like that. You see, this is someone that sent a message, right, really quickly, but the other one hesitates before they answer it. They think, should I answer this one? Because there's, there's a person here that might want to communicate. Someone could be very good at communicating, but the other one is really bad at communicating. Like you send a message expecting a reply, and the other one takes hours or days before they actually even get round to replying. And you're like, this communication is just fucking whack, bruv. Like, you know, I'm here willing to communicate with you. And I send a message and you take fucking hours before you actually reply. So does that mean that you're not that interested? Yeah. Now, there's other two aspects. It could be because someone's busy at work and they didn't get the message. Okay. So they're, I don't know, asleep maybe, <laughs> right? They're asleep and they didn't get the message. Overworked, tired, didn't get the message. Or didn't get the message of fuck off. I told you already to fuck off and you didn't get the message. Okay, I heard you and I see the message, but I told you before, jog on, Dave. Right, here, so there's a, you know, there's a few aspects, because this one here is looking at this thinking, why are you not opening up? Like, oh, well, I'll tell you what, the best thing for me to do then is not take no for an answer and try even harder, <laughs> right? To the, to get an answer out of you, right? So that's trying to force an answer out of someone, Luke, okay? But like, um, now you do have this energy here of this page of swords that's looking at this four of pentacles to think, hmm, I wonder if I was to actually speak up and try to find out how to communicate with this person, if I was to be able to like, because the page can be trying to find someone's phone number, or find their Facebook, or find something, or find a way of being able to truly communicate with the person. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to try and find out how can I get around this energy to be able to communicate, right? Not saying that this person's blocked. There's a few stories but it could be someone that's thinking, how do I get around your firewall? <coughs> Some of them might be a fucking scam artist. How do I get around your firewall? <coughs> okay, so yeah, be very careful around that. Well, I mean, loads of um, protection. Like on my computer and on my phone, I have like a vast, I have like security VPNs and all of that sort of stuff, right? Because uh, I, I mean, I run a business, so... I always make sure that I don't click on uh, emails when it says, click on here. <laughs> I don't do it, okay? Because there is the scamming energy that is possibly here. Um, if it says about putting in details of money, straight away I'm off. Like, as soon as anyone starts, you know. So, like, don't click on things, okay? When it comes to, like, security for phones and PCs, if you've got, like, laptops and you watch me on a laptop, Make sure that you have, like, say, a VPN. You've got to pay money. If you want security, you've got to pay money, okay? So you need a VPN, okay, that pings your IP address to say that you live in America and that you're from Britain. But if you do, you'll have a very slow PC if you use a VPN. VPNs will tell the world that you're not from the country that you're from and that you're from another one. So always pick the nearest country, okay? So... Very quickly, if I'm from Britain, I can say that I'm actually from London or fucking somewhere else or like, you know, so I can pick somewhere where the internet connection would be a lot faster. If I was to pick America, I wouldn't be able to, the, the internet would be very slow, but it's very secure, <clears throat> depending if you know how to use those kind of things, right? Um, then you've also got like Avast or Nord and all these sort of things that you can use a VPN or you can use uh, internet providing packages to lock down everything someone here is because if i'm talking about it it's normally here i'll leave it down to y'all yeah <laughs> i'll just leave it down to your, your own thing here let's see 
because oh man please tell me this right this card here doesn't necessarily mean stalking right for you guys that constantly bang on about gang stalking jesus now if you are i don't know why people would be that special that someone would want to gang stalk one person and spend years just spying on one person <laughs> okay because this can be where I've lost my fucking mind. Like, I have literally up in cloud mushroom land. Okay. Worried, sick, fearing, okay, that I have to keep blocking everybody out because I'm being stalked. This doesn't always mean stalking. Like, have you watched, I've, I think I've gone through this before, that many twin flame shit readings and stuff like that where they teach you fear. They breed fear into you to fear people. Okay, this can mean thinking, it can mean children, it can also mean clients, it can mean an ex, okay, it can mean many different possibilities, yourselves watching this now, finding out are they still watching me, so you're watching your fucking self here, do you know what I'm saying, like, you got to make sure that you're fully up tact here when you're kind of dealing with an awakening, because trust me, I've been there, I'm not saying this through thinking, Steve, you just say this sort of shit because you don't know. I've been there. When I first started waking up, I thought people were doing fucking witchcraft. Like, because the reason why she don't want me and the reason why this is all going crazy, they do, yeah, they are. They, they are. They're definitely doing witchcraft. I fucking know for sure that they are. They definitely are. And I was one of these people that joined along with the crew like everybody else, listening to a tarot card reader that was expressing the fact that there was fucking witchcraft and that they were all doing it. And I was a part of it. That's got to be the reason. That's the reason why I'm going crazy during my fucking awakening. Not understanding. My mind was like an egg. Okay, it was very fragile. The information that you receive and that you get by people is very important on your journey, okay? And if what you're receiving is multiple messages by multiple different people looking for an answer that you already know, that's the white rabbit. That's you keep following clues down and down and down to what's going on when it could actually be yourself, okay? Because, like I said, if you this is no offence to anybody, right? But if you get a beginner tarot reader and they just know this as spying and stalking and that's the only thing that they say and you find them and you learn that way, not knowing that this isn't always about stalking, that this is about thinking and children and clients wondering, okay, a new person, okay, there's multiple things that that could be. But if you're watching a tarot card reading, you're basically just reflecting the fear back to yourself, not knowing that it's you watching, right? So your mind can think, okay, well, the person that I first started learning from told me that communication is going to be coming because this is what that meant. No, this means not speaking. I've been waiting forever and a day because someone told me that there was going to be communication from this person eventually. Well, this is also communication, but this is no communication okay i'm just kind of like letting you guys know that like if you've started you know that i was down that rabbit hole i was believing that there was witchcraft that everywhere i went people were looking at me you do realize that why you feel that way right you do realize why people that are waking up feel that way what is watching you all of the time what is watching you hmm? answer down below what is watching you all of the time. Spirits, dead people, God, Jesus, whoever you like, right? But they're around you all of the time watching you. When you bang one out, when you have a shit, when you're in your bed. Is that helping your mental health? Because they are watching you, right? So what do you feel when you're waking up? That you are being watched. Because you are. By a spirit. So what are you feeling? I'm being watched. I'm being watched. I know they're watching me. I know they're watching me. Because they are a spirit. right? You're learning. You're learning up here that being watched doesn't matter because the feeling of becoming an empath is the feeling of what? Being watched. Okay. So let's see. Mix 48. Nine of Cups. 
I really don't think anybody's opening up here to uh, the possibilities of this being a relationship here. Okay. Uh, this even could be the the breakup, like the the complete breakup, and this is like the the getting over the you know getting over it. But you do have these two pages and sword, like this page of swords and this knight of swords are the only two things that mean communication. But because both, okay, <laughs> someone really could be talking to a lot of people here or one person. Now, I could look at this as multiple different aspects, but I'm not going to waste your time. I've got to get on with other readings and I'm not clarifying them because you do, you've got like pages and nights now. Okay, so someone is opening up to a person. But like I said, this could be an aspect of where my ex went off with someone else and they've just got with someone I've just found out. And are they talking to them? Yeah, <laughs> more than likely here. So someone could have found someone new. Okay, but I'm still kind of like getting over my ex or, you know, there are exes around. But if you've been watching Patreon, you'll be picking up on the all of the really important stuff where I said the world and the um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Wheel of Fortune were right next to each other in two readings. What does that mean? Complete and utter ending and a beginning. New start, fresh start, karmic cycle over, done. There is no more. Complete it. If you get those two together in a tarot deck that come out basically together like two of my readings did, okay, which is the world and the Wheel of Fortune together, that's the end of, end, the end, beautiful friendship, end, okay, so that's the end of that, so now there are people now that are looking for partners that are more suited, more suited for them, so they're on the prowl, looking, okay, Someone here could have well found someone. Okay, they could have done. One of them may think that they have a chance, but the other one isn't really communicating at all anyway. So they're kind of like, well, I've, I've already got someone. Like, I'm actually already talking to someone because they do want to open up. Okay, they're being honest and truthful. So that's the way I went. I had stopped communicating with a person that doesn't open up and the person has just been blocking anyway. And I went my own way, decided to talk to someone else that will. Because, you, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to give you the reading without clarifying them, basically. Okay, so, you know, you've got stuff here. So, that'll do, Virgo. There you go, guys. All life path nines. Like I said, you don't have to follow the whole story because it isn't clarified. But your whole reading for the week, not the 48 hours, is um, over on Patreon. Okay, but this one for the next 48, you, you more than likely are going to be saying something. Okay, to, well, someone is going to be talking here. <clears throat> and some of you might even decide to unblock the ex. Like you might decide to unblock them where you've decided to block them, but then you think, oh, no, I don't want to block them and unblock them and then block them and then unblock them and think, oh, no, I actually don't. I'm going to go back on my word and unblock the person just so they can communicate and I, I can't do it. <laughs> so, you know, you might be in and out of worrying whether you should or you shouldn't or they should or shouldn't. Okay. Because, you know, you do do it like, oh, I'm going to have an argument with you and I'm going to take you off Facebook. <laughs> and you take them off Facebook and then you suddenly get back together and like, oh, I'm just going to send you a request again. And then we can go for it again and then you end up like friends. And then all of a sudden you have another fucking argument. And they're like, oh, okay, I'm going to unfriend you. And you're like, listen, I unfriend me, magic friend Mike, because I don't give a shit. And then they, you go back and then you come back together and you're like, oh, okay, let's open the lines of communication again. We're back together. Oh. <laughs> right anybody done that one and heard that line right um but if you wish to really support me virgo my virgo cruise yes virgo i love you guys uh please make sure you smash that like button okay leave me a comment okay a nice one hopefully and out rid all these people that leave crap ones and i uh, watch the video the way through Rewatch it if you want or watch another one uh, two options. If you want your weekly readings, they're always done a day or two before you get anything on here. Full table, clarified, camera down, watch it, do the whole thing. I give you every single message I can of new and old possibilities and also advice. So that's always over on Patreon. That's your weekly and two weekly readings and monthly readings and everything else that you get there, teaching videos, God knows what else, all on Patreon, silver or gold. Then we also have the join button below. It is like $3, really isn't very much. In return for that, what you get is question and answer. You can ask me anything. I make a post and say, hi guys, what's your name? What's their name if it involves someone else? What's your question? What do you want to know? Leave it and then I'll just make a video. I normally do three or four people at once. 
give you the names and say, right, these are your questions. And we have a bit of a chat over the, over the you know camera. It's not live, but we have a bit of a, you know, I'll talk to you from your email or from your thingy. Uh, and then what you also get is I think that they're spot on because the last one that I did was for me. I think there's two over there now. Uh, one I did yesterday or the day before, which is a general tarot card reading. Follow the story. OK, there were a lot of new energies coming up that were all pages and nights. So that is in this reading. OK, for new people. I've done that and I said, okay, this is looking really good, blah, 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 for new people, if you are down it, and I can connect with the people that are on the join, okay? So if you're on there, I do a random reading, let you look at it and say, this is pretty much what to expect of what's coming up, okay? So I go right in depth for that, okay? Because it's general, so I try to really squeeze it down to make it your personal reading as such. And you get those as well, okay? And that's very cheap. And it really helps me out, okay? Because life is difficult at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> right? So thanks very much. Really do appreciate it, guys. I'll hopefully see you on any of the links provided below.